So today, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna make a thumbnail for my YouTube video. I've had this YouTube video for a while, but I don't think the thumbnail has been doing well. And I have been learning a little bit about engagement and reach and click through rates on YouTube. So I'm just trying to like play around and see if this makes any difference. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up Chrome and let's look for that video that I'm going to change the thumbnail on. I think it's this one. Um, it's called what if no one sees your or shares your vision. So that's the cue I'm going to work off. And now I'm going to open up Pexels, which is a free stock image um, browser. And the first thing I'm going to look for is uh, the word vision. Let's see, so I already typed it in there, uh, vision. So now I'm just looking for images that pop out. And the first one that pops out is this one with an eye. So I'm gonna download that one. And this is from Subin. And then I'm just gonna browse through to see if I see any other ones that kind of pop out. I'm just, I'm gonna give myself, um, let's see if I can give myself 10 minutes, a 10 minute timer. I have, I use a timer app called Horo and I'm gonna add Let's see if I can add 10 M. Ah, let's make it let's try. five minutes. Let's put it to five minutes, five minutes to find myself an image um, that stands out. All right. So, um, hmm, I think in the first minute I found something that kind of pops out. This one kind of pops out too. Not sure. Let's see. This is from a little artsy. And so it's this one right here. I downloaded that one. Let's not go too crazy. All right, let's try blind because maybe people are blind or they they have short sightedness. They can't see your vision. This one looks nice and artsy. It's from Asiyama Jr. Let's download that one and these look cool but I'm not sure if they are as vivid Let's see if I can find this is cool it's kind of maybe too creepy <laughs> for what I'm trying to do um, let's see oh this one right here is a nice one from cotton bro this one right here so let's download that one. See, thanks to Cotton Bro. And we can always attribute stuff. So we've gone like a minute and a half and I think I have enough pictures. Um, let's do one more thing. Let's see if we can find a blind cane. Let's see if we can find any images. Because I'm thinking that maybe I could do something with Cane. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. Not seeing anything that pops out. Let's try this one. Hmm. No. Let's try on on splash for blind uh, ooh this one looks nice right here this one uh, okay and then this one also is kind of cool uh should we use up all of our two minutes i'm not sure See, blind cane. Mm. 
Let's try on one more place, Pixabay. And I'm searching these sites because they're royalty free. So let's type in blind cane. Let's see what happens. I'm not getting anything of that. Let's just put in blind. Let's put in vision. See what happens. Mm, more or less the same prompts. All right, I'm not gonna. Hmm. This VR goggles. Mm, let's see. What I have found over the years is that you don't necessarily get better options the longer you spend looking for something. So let's try this one. I'm not a robot to download. Save image as save. All right. Okay. Now let's open up Photoshop. And let's create a new file. And we're going to make it. Uh, what should we make it? Since it's a YouTube thumbnail, let's make it in pixels. I think 2560. So that's double the size of 1280 by 720, 1440. And let's create. All right. So let me find my assets. Uh, let's drop this one. Oops, the timer went off. So let's add 10 minutes to create this. So let's drop this one into Photoshop. Oops. Hmm. And mm. let's bring this down a tad. All right, let's use the object selection tool and let's select mm. and let's use the quick selection to kind of clean that up hold down shift and select and command g to create a new layer from that selection all right nice and now i'm just gonna uh, create a text layer and i'm gonna write are you and let's bring this over here oops keep saying oops and put blind <laughs> i can't type <laughs> question mark All right, so that's one. We're just trying to do stuff quickly. It's not the most interesting uh, thumbnail. So let's, let's create a group for this. And group layers. And let's call it test one. All right, so now what we're gonna do is bring that back into focus. Let's remove this and just do blind. Question mark. And let's 
see if I have uh, an image from my let's create a box like this and we're gonna fill it with this yellow color let's see if this makes the contrast better send that backwards press shift to move that side and remove the stroke from the stroke from this box all right i'm not sure if the yellow rectangle adds anything to it at all uh, and the previous thumbnail i did i added a little i'm not sure a type at the bottom. All right, let's try put in NE10, which is kind of a signature. So NE10. And let's put that in caps here is so something is off let's open up paragraph character turn off caps okay that looks more like it and maybe we take that out of black and just put it in regular italics all right so that's option one. Oh my goodness we only have three minutes left wow Yeah, could be better. All right, so let's hide that one. And let's add, let's try another option. Um, let's bring this up a bit. We're not going to do too much with this. Um, let's create a rectangle U and let's fill it. Why is it being filtered in this nasty color? And let's turn off the stroke. What's going on? And I say hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and you know what? There are easier ways to do this, but since we're crunching for time, I'm just going to use the lasso tool, which is L, and just kind of, oops, that doesn't make any sense. All right, and let's do, can I mask that out? No, 
Should I select the inverse? Command Shift I and let's mask that out. All right, now we're gonna add some text on top. B L I N D question mark. Put that in black. And let's bring that to the front. Mm, not feeling it too much. I think sometimes less is more. Let's try this again. Let's instead of just blind, let's put Are you blind? Let's put that on one line. Time's gonna go off. Let's add five more minutes to it. Oops, that's five seconds. Five M. All right, let's do you. Change the fill. Take off the stroke. Take off the stroke right there and create a box. Bring it to the back, shift, constrain. Let's duplicate that. Like I said, less is more. So I don't want to spend too much time doing this. Chances are I'll change it again. And no, let's just add our text right here. Any ten and change the color to white for contrast. All right, uh, not sure if those are the most solid ones. Let's try a last one. So let's group those. And let's group all of this. Group from layers. Test. Test two. All right, hide that. And stress up, add that right here. I'm gonna keep this one super simple with that same style. Blind. 
mind? Question mark. Let's change up the black. Huh. I don't think I mind this one too much. Do I? Well, what I will do is... Maybe put it on an axis. try another option where we change it to headline gothic like the previous ones Time is almost up. I have 15 seconds. Can I make it? Can I make it? All right, that's my time. So in total, I think I did 15 minutes. And let's see. So now we're just exporting everything to a folder that I already created. Oh. And now, let's open that folder. And a quick and easy way to find out if your thumbnail is working is to look at it at uh, at a small size, at a small scale, and then ask yourself of these five things right here, which one jumps out at me the most? And I think the one that I would probably click on the most would be this one. Funny enough, this was the one that I finished first. Um, I also like this last one here that I kind of did really quickly. And the funny thing is at scale, this is a more interesting thing to me at scale, but as a thumbnail, as something small, this one right here, I guess is the one that I see that cuts through everything. And this is something to keep in mind whenever you're designing something. How big is it going to be? Where will it sit? Where does it need to work? Some things may look nice at scale or you may love it at scale, but then when you scale it down, it doesn't work as well. So it would be one, two, three. Let me know in the comments which one you rather. I'll call this three, four, and five. Let me go and ask my wife what she thinks. I wanted to ask you which one you which one you would choose if they were in a lineup of thumbnails or which one would you click on or want to click on which thing draws your eye in I'm gonna go for this one that one <laughs> same thing I said all right that was it a quick little video if you like it, you know what to do. If you dislike it, you know what to do. <laughs> I am trying to see if I can do a little bit more of these videos and just kind of explore some of my design thinking and just quick ways to get something done. More time doesn't always necessarily mean a better result. I have found that in time, um, over time. So I always try to put a limit on the amount of time that it takes me to create something. 
and a lot of times if you come back to your design the next day then it's easier for you to figure out what works so um thanks for watching